Imagine, imagine you're on in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You're headed out of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that, but we've set sail and left the Earth behind. Here you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. Just me wants you all to kill each other. You don't have to worry about that ozone layer or asthma inducing air pollution. And of course you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game, but... But even our divine little world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of rules. Well, not really. If you're in nature, you're 100% free and there are no rules. If you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you called Earth, Please do all your best to follow the rules. I hope I made myself perfectly clear. So then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together. It's almost my favorite part again. Well, favorite section. There's multiple sections of it. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! I sat up, still half asleep, and rubbed my eyes. Slowly, I pulled myself out of bed. I remembered. I was in Circa's room. I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone else. I better get going. I left Sayaka's room and made my way towards the dining hall. A few people had already gathered at the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello Makoto, and good morning! Can you believe it? It was... I was the very first one here this morning! <laughs> uh, good morning. Hey Makoto! Morning! I suppose I'm married. I figured everyone else who arrived on time would be considered moral high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. Yo. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate this morning. Ah, well, hello? my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning and uh, oh fucking hell. You, you can't even fucking reach it past your stomach. Julie took a little longer than usual. With a type of, with a more relaxed sense of time. Most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting for us. Indeed. I suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. I can't remember where that's from. My bad, guys. Step right through my alarm. What's your problem? What? what? Why is it it's so uh, awful to be l late? Yo. I didn't know I was asleep just so you know. Nope, got lost up there in the Bermuda Triangle. F fucking hell. Don't care about time or other people in general. They're the kind to move at their own pace. But regardless, everyone had arrived. At least that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, are we still missing some people? <sighs> yeah. Sayaka and Boyaka aren't here either. Sayaka Boyaka 619 Hey Boyaka Boy! Ray Mustario! I don't know about Boyaka, but I would definitely put Sayaka in the model high school category. So for her to be late? What? What's going on here? Does something happen? Yo. Hey man, you seen Sayaka? Why would I have? I came straight from my room to here. Did he forget about our breakfast promise? However, I'm fucking starving for some bacon. I forget the scent. She's already got, has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. 
And that spec started to grow quickly. I, I need to go. I have to check on her. The words have barely left my lips before I flew out of the hall. Where I headed first was my room. Where I'd left Sayaka stay for a where I'd let Sayaka stay for a single night. Where she was supposed to be safe. But over the course of that one night. Yep, she's pretty fucked, I had seen bloody. The room had been completely transformed. What the hell? Right, let's check everything. So, that. More importantly, where's Sayaka? Oh, right, shit, yeah, don't do the evidence yet. This, this is a replica of the sword I brought back from South Fence. I'd been taken out of its sheath. But more importantly, where's Sayaka? Okay, fine. I know where she is. She's in there, dead. I better check the bathroom. Let's take a look inside. Blood in this game, yes, is pink. I don't know why. There's uh, sexual innuendos, but it's blood's pink. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. All I saw dug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then, uh, everything went black. He faded, basically. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before, and when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I'd seen before. Ah! Ah! You're awake! Finally! Are you okay? Now is no time for sleeping! Get your ass up! Huh? Uh, um... You are unconscious to worry at carry you back well. here. It's no surprise considering what happened. What happened? <laughs> oh yeah, okay, the scream. Um, hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw? It was real? <laughs> That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body, and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is. If Sayaka is. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irres and irrevocably dead. No. No, I have to see for myself. Listen to us, man. What do you think is going to happen if you go out there? Wow. What? Well, what good is it going to do sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym like at a time like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's. She's dead! Dead? When I said that, it finally hit me. I realised she was gone. Calm down. None of us want to be right here here right now either. Then why <laughs> sh 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 shouldn't shouldn't it be obvious Mon Monokuma, he told he told us to, to come here. Well hold on, don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean we remembers. The terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But, but. So. I'm the one who convinced him to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without Correct. reason. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong! I would never do that! If you can believe anything, you can believe them! He's here again? Hey, um... Unless someone violates the school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks. For the world, throughout the world, for following the Bear Times 1 rule. But... Then, then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer! The one who killed her is... One of you! 
Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka. Don't be stupid, that's... Hmm? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dog get shot up with a Gatling gun. Don't you remember when I told you when this all began? <laughs> One of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. By the way, like the murder wasn't my favourite section of the game because that'd just be a bit sick. Well, you're, you're lying. Of course, of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope. Sorry. One of you is a bona fide killer. So you wanted to. The one who did it could testify to that little thing. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... <laughs> Are you serious? What, what is this? Someone! Someone killed someone! <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable Just of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't assume he's telling the truth. Talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with a stuffed animal here. <laughs> If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb, that's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz <laughs> Naive! You're so naive! You really think it's just that easy? You can just kill someone and want to turn out of here? Hey! You're super naive! Don't you seem naive? This naive. No, no, no! The real thing has just begun! The real thing? Now then! Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. How you do the second part is my favorite bit. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You are referring to rule number six of the school regulations. Anyone who kills a fellow student, I mean, anyone, if you are the blackened and committed a murder, you cannot be found out by other students. This is what you're talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone, you have to actually get away with it! Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's being done in the way with it. <laughs> so a certain number of time after a murder is taken, a class trial will begin! Yeah, class trial, best part of this game. Class trial? Hmm. Yep! They'll begin in a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the black hand who committed the murder. And they and their spotless students will all engage in a big one debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the also, outcome really like will the, be like, decided by bits. popular vote. If Actually, the like answer the you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. Also, why are all the girls happy and all the guys are pissed off? No idea. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... So, um, why exactly is this pipe that you keep talking about? Oh, as if you couldn't guess. Hmm. Oh, we'll put it simply, it's execution! Yeah. Hey, execution? <laughs> and by execution, you mean... Chopping someone's yes, head off! Is. Execution! Execution! Electric chair! Bzz, bzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! <laughs> so, 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 to make sure I understand, if, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well, fine. What a 
that smart little champagne tea you are! Look at you, implying you didn't do it like, without actually saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a late judge system with an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think the killer is. <sighs> but judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, let me add... Let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. The new rule has been added. The new rule has been added to the regulation. Hey. Wait, wait, hold on a second. How are you talking about? I'm just my freaking second. You're freaking insane, huh? you know that? What the? Hmm? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't... Oh, why is the voice that? Oh, go on. Oh my god, look at that. I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What? Are you saying you're not going to participate in a trial? All these punishment awaits such blasphemy. What are you talking about? What? Punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know. Throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or Shut something. The hell up. Shut the hell up. Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be part of this. I don't believe don't be it. so selfish. Stop it. You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. The evil standing here before me. I, I'm trembling with fear. <laughs> but I won't give in to such you. It's my style. Stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you have to go through me first. As you said, I came to charge on us. Although it was more of a waddle. But then. Are you enjoying yourself now? Uh oh, you're fine. Are fat. you? Huh? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma yep. is not You're allowed! Fucked. You violated a school regulation! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnir! Ouch. So, totally not cool. <laughs> Huh? This wasn't supposed to... Why me? Suddenly right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. No way! What, what the? I don't... Th th this can't be real! Yeah. No way! Yeah. Now, I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know? <laughs> but I guess all you needed was to be taught a lesson. After all, ah, what an amazing promise. But now, you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those school regulations. Junker's body and being impaled with such a bunch of, with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment someone's life came to an end. Maybe the other can deny what they'd seen. John Cohen, until a second ago, had been on front. Was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, um, it's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. No more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the inev eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> This isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. It's just reality! Why did you have to kill her? Don't... Didn't you say you wouldn't put her in prison or some... You would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire Say time. What? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly, you can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? 
are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, why do you take me for? I'm on a coma! Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you to help you in your search for the blessing. This little file has all the information I gathered about the death in question. I like to call it... It's the Monokuma File! Mm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts for this kind of thing, so you can only do so much without a corpse. So, instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and the cause of death. Yeah. What's that? How do I know about the cause of death? Because yeah. the surveillance camera picked up the whole thing! I gotta see it all go down! Wait, so then you know who killed Sayaka? Of course I did. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and accurate judgment during the trial now, could I? That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision that somehow can convince Well? No, Nancy. Put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice! Okay, so I'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunted and confused. He left us a total loss. He left us with Junko's body growing colder right in front of us. And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course, but there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. Now, if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable, and yet, even in such a purposely terrible situation, didn't find the slightest hint that it had gotten to. Hey. Now is not the time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose all faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having a total faith in everyone else. Huh? In other words. Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. Who you decide to trust or not trust is of course up to you. <laughs> Continue to think about it and talk about it. The deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. Thanks, stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you, anyone who can't adapt will die. Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what's just happened. Seven. Right now, exposing the camera is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all going to die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. Whatever choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I gonna l my lecturing someone, letting someone kill me. All right, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a m mantra, mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I know I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why, I don't have any choice. I have to do this. Things putting something in her body. <laughs> oh shit, I should have read that. Sorry. I don't know why you were bothered to check after those injuries and losing that much blood. Frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Poor done. <laughs> Oh, hold on! Just, just wait, a, wait a second. She's dead. That means, what? that means everything that's happened so far is real. It's not a joke. Whatever it's real, it's real. How oh, no? Just, just someone save me! Someone let me out of here! Somebody help me! You just accepting? You just, just, just now accepting that? 
Um, how long have I been going? Oh, that's a good amount of time, actually. So, because I don't want to um, have to pause recording in between the investigation or class trial, because they're big, big bits. Like, really important bits. Um, and it really does matter if you accidentally, like, the audio, uh, the video accidentally does kick out. So, until next time, this has been Danganronpa. With me, Dark there. My voice is dying because of this, but anyway, right. Until next time, goodbye.